Check this out. These uh, pictures from a close call for a highway crew provide for a timely reminder about the move over law. This happened yesterday and tonight the Thruway Authority is already planning on how to use this wrecked vehicle for a good cause. Well, Channel 2's Dave McKinley has more about that effort and how a quirk of fate may have saved the lives of two veteran Thruway workers. Combined, these two thruway maintenance workers have nearly 70 years on the job. That's a lot of days, but make no mistake, Wednesday was nearly their last. It's pretty traumatic when, you know, you kind of look at this smashed vehicle behind us. It's the one they just parked on the shoulder of the state superhighway near Westfield and stepped out of to pick up litter moments before a tractor trailer, which for reasons still not fully determined, failed to obey the move over law and slammed into it. And they both managed to within feet dive out of the way and, and, and move out of the way of the tractor trailer. The law requires motorists approaching emergency vehicles or those displaying amber lights to switch to the opposite lane if they can safely do so. If not, you are required to reduce your speed. Now, perhaps you might be thinking, well, maybe somebody is passing through from another state and may not be aware of New York's move over law. Highly unlikely, first because all 50 states have a move over law. And in fact, New York was the last one to adopt it, and that was nine years ago. So in a manner of saying, there really are no excuses. There really isn't, and it really is just common sense too. You might think it would be common sense for the Thruway Authority to scrap this thing, but it won't. We have doing quite a few functions for the move over law at, at our rest areas. So they will keep it for a new use as a display at such events and as a stark reminder of what can happen if you don't move over. This vehicle is a, is a, is a real symbol of, of the dangers out there and, and we hope to get, use this vehicle to send a message to everybody, move over for these guys. And if you can't move over immediately, slow down. We did ask to speak with the two workers, but the Thruway Authority wanted to give them a few days, although, Despite what occurred, it says the two, whom they would only identify by their first names, Chuck and Pete, were back on the job today. They also shared that Chuck, after more than 30 years, is due to retire in just a few weeks, and that Pete, with nearly 40 years on the job, plans to pack it in next spring. <laughs> Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.